Hello friends, welcome to Kerner's Folly. This is one of the most interesting architectural houses I have ever been in. It was listed on the National Register of Historic Places some time ago. It's been restored, it's got an interesting history. Let's go check it out. So inside this house, this was just dirt. Mm -hmm. It was a road, but yeah, it was dirt. Maybe some gravel thrown in. Wow. And the horses were right back there? Mm -hmm. In fact, the windows were each a stall for the horses. Oh. Don't worry, you'll go in every room learning some things about Jules here. He was a pretty interesting fella. This is awesome. This piece here, this buffet, it was too large to fit through the doorway, so it was built in this room and has never moved. <laughs> it's huge. Jules was awesome, right? This whole area right here was just dirt, and they would, he would allow horses to come through here and people to park and went all the way through the house but it was like a business living space then he got married and things changed <laughs> when he got married he decided that his lovely wife could not live in a place where horses were living she also decided this as well so he enclosed it and put a wooden floor in this is the original floor that he put in I think I like this guy Jules so much because he was an entrepreneur, a serious one. This guy just built this entire house with his experience as an architect and he made every single room a sales pitch for his capabilities. So everything you see is an example of what he could do in your home if you chose to, ha to have it done. French horn. Kitchen. This is a whole recipe from Aunt Delay. This is what you had to work with. Seems just enough. A little bit of storage. oven space. Could be a hot room though. Here's a little pantry. This was an ice box. It's an old timey refrigerator. Not allowed to touch it. This secondary kitchen was added on later on after the house was built because it would keep the heat away from the house in the summer months. I guess it did get really hot in here. So that's how they solved the problem. I love these mosaic floors. Very interesting patterns. Well, it doesn't seem that there would be much of a shortage of heat in this home. There's 15 working fireplaces in this place. Each one of them shows different details of what Jewel could accomplish for your fireplace in your home. They're all a little different. It's very cool. And they still work today. I'm reading a sign here and it's a, it's a little weird because this uh, drummer boy is staring right in my face and it's hard for me to even pay attention to this sign. So. And then, what are you looking at? Wow. Master bedroom. This room is so big. And another fireplace.
All right, ladies, check out the private dressing room. Don't mind the creepy doll. Upper section for more storage. Large swivel window, that's cool. Looks like a pass through here. And a second level private dressing room. Oh, it's, another, it's a bedroom. Very short ceilings. This was the children's playroom. Very cool. Like match their size. It's like Alice in Wonderland or something. Yeah. This is about, my boat ceiling is about this tall. This is, this feels normal to me. What a man. It's a big open window from the children's area down to the private dressing room. Interesting. Second children's playroom. And another fireplace. Ceiling is like one and a half inches taller in this room. When Jewel started to have children, he created these rooms. This room actually used to be a bathroom later in life after it was a children's room. It's gone through some different phases, but there's one thing that was left. He got tired of some of his art. As I said, he was an artist. He got tired of this one mural that was on the wall, but it's got an interesting connection to me. He covered up many of his paintings with this wainscot. This is one of the St. John's River scene in Florida. The Rose, whoa. Rose Room. The Blue Room. A lot like the Rose Room. Just a different fireplace in color. This was Jules' son's room, Gilmer, but it used to be Jules' room when he was a bachelor living in this property and he built the place this was this was his bedroom so I'm sure there are stories right outside of these two bedrooms is this amazing huge ballroom wow and a triple seat It's an entire theater. Jules' wife, Polly Alice, who was said to have a pretty energetic personality, wanted to do something for the community. So Jules says, anything you want, darling. And they took their attic space that was previously unused, and she made a theater for the community. One of the attendants explained that many times Locals will come and tour Kerner's Folly and reminisce about their parents making them play music or act in plays as a part of these community productions. This is called the Long Room. This was used as a hayloft when it was stables down below, but now, well, then it turned into the, the green room for the theater, basically. It's a changing room for people that were using the theater upstairs. What an interesting, interesting place. guest bathroom and fireplace. Something interesting about this room is that this window here opens up to this large rooftop. 
Back in the turn of the century, sunbathing was a popular thing to do, especially among the ladies. The ladies would traditionally have these upper decks in these Victorian homes where they were given access so they could sunbathe. Well, it wasn't the same kind of sunbathing as today, going to the beach, wearing your bikinis and getting a tan. They didn't like tans. It was more of a social activity. So they would dress up in long sleeves and hats and, and not want to be touched by the sun at all. They wore a special sunbathing dress. Check it out. So next time you go to the beach, maybe you'd consider a sunbathing dress like this one. Not only will you not get a tan, you'll probably lose 10, 15 pounds of water weight because this is like heavy canvas here and uh, probably a wool, I don't know. Uh, not very breathable <laughs> at all. There you are, Jewel. This room was originally Jules' den, but then turned into their daughter's sewing room when she took over the house later in life after Jules had died. This sewing machine is a Howe sewing machine. It's one of his original models. Howe was the inventor of the American sewing machine. So this is a pretty special piece. Polly Alice was the president of the embroidery club. She was a very talented seamstress and there's a lot of sewing happened in that room. Now this room used to be the stables until Jewel got married and they turned into a library. The stables then moved across the street and it's been a library ever since. Books are all original to the room. Some are 120 years old. A cozy little spot to read a book. Jewel and the lady. A European tradition at the time the house was built was to have the witch's corner where a guest would come and you put a coin in the cauldron and it would attract all the evil spirits and Keep them outside instead of inside. It's kind of like wiping your feet, just could wipe your soul with money. <laughs> Something like that. The privy, or an outhouse, as you know it. Yeah. When y'all are saying your nightly prayers tonight, go ahead and thank the good universe for indoor plumbing. So that's a great thing to be thankful for. Well, the Kerner Folly house was really cool. It's time to move on and find something else interesting about the area today. Kind of, kind of a busy day and not really, you know, I'm just touring some places, but I feel like uh, there's just more to see. I I've never explored this part of the country before. I stopped into the Kernersville Brewing Company for a beer say thank you to the bartender that gave me the great advice of the Kerner's Folly. So here we are again. Give me some other cool tips. I'm going to head into Winston-Salem. You know, there's history all around. There's Greensboro. There's you know, some other little small towns with a lot of Revolutionary War and Civil War history. We're going to make our way into Winston-Salem though and see what's going on there. Seems like a pretty cool little place. Thanks for joining me today, friends. I'll see you in the next video.